Good morning, Palestine United Methodist Church. Amen. Amen. Come on and get a Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Good morning, Facebook Live. Amen. It's a good day to be alive. Amen. I want to welcome everyone here today on this this good news Sunday, this Father's Day Sunday, this Juneteenth Sunday. Amen. God has blessed us to come together one more time. One more time. Amen. And, and, and uh, it's good to be here. We're still masked up in close quarters. Amen. Uh, there will, I don't think, be a normal anymore. I think we're going to have to make the new norm. Amen. And, and this is part of it, protecting one another. Amen. Not going to be a long time today. Amen. But, amen, I... I thank God for Jesus. I want to thank uh, those who uh, came, attended uh, with me. Uh, I didn't get a chance to thank you personally because uh, they they were doing church a long time over there in Amy the other night. And I know it was a long time because when we left, I think it was almost 10 o'clock, wasn't it, what? But I want to thank those who attended uh, the convocation of Victory Temple. Friday night, uh, we actually, yeah, I had a good time, and it was actually the first time that I was in a congregation that wasn't a funeral. So God is good. Amen. 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 And we got to continue to allow him to bring us out. So once again, I want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers and all those that, that act as father figures. Amen. Happy Juneteenth Day. Amen. And that is something that we all can celebrate. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We all can celebrate that. Amen. We have different prayer concerns uh, going on, not only with our congregation, but with others. Amen. And there are different prayer requests that have uh, been asked for us to pray for them. Amen. If you have someone that you would like for us to pray for, Amen. And, uh, now is the time to call their name before the throne of God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. The Parks family. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. Amen. Lord, hear our prayers. Amen. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayers. All right. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Lord, hear our prayers. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayers. In the name of Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus, Lord, answer our prayer. Let us pray. This is a day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and being glad in it. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the situation, Yes. We know that you are God and you are God all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Lord, we come into agreement right now, right now. that every one, every name that has been called, Lord, that you intervene with your Holy Spirit right now, wherever they are, at this very moment as we pray, yes. let there be some healing, let there be some deliverance, let there yes. be some yes. Holy Spirit entering in yes. that person right now in the yes. name of Jesus. The Bible said if we believe what we pray for, when we ask for it, we shall have it. Yeah. Lord, we believe in right now, Lord. Yeah. We pray for all the bereaved 
family, which are many, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Lord, today is them, but tomorrow it could be us, Lord. Right. We ask you to comfort those right now that are hurting, Lord. Yeah. Lord, we ask you to go into the hospital, the nursing home, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We ask you to go where they are, the ones are oppressed, Lord, the ones that are beaten down in the prisons, Lord. Go right now in the hearts of people right now, Lord, yeah. and heal, deliver, and yeah. set free yeah. right now in yeah. the name of Jesus. All right. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we know that you're in all seeing, all knowing, everywhere at the same time, God, and you know every secret. You know everything that's hidden in every heart this morning, Lord. So right now, Lord, not only are we asking for you to heal them, we ask you to heal us, Lord. Yes, yes. Father God, we love you this day, Lord. Yes. And we give you all the honor yes. and all the glory. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. It's done. Yes. Yes. Amen. It's done. Man, uh, today is Father's Day. Amen. And today is Juneteenth's Day. What I'm going to do, I'm going to read my scripture, and then we're going to go on with the word from, from the Lord, because I know some of us have things planned. Ricky looks like he ready to eat a big steak or something. Right? <laughs> uh, it would be not. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead on. I want you to turn with me to the book of Luke. Luke, the 15th chapter. Verses 1 How far we going for? 24. 1 through 24. How many of you know that the gospel is called the good news? Amen. 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 It is good news because there are many promises that Jesus has given us in the gospel. But you know, also it was said that if you want to hide something from a black man, you put it in a book. So the gospel is in a book. So in order for us to know the promises and know what God has, has in store for us, we got to pick the book up and begin to read the book. Amen. Right. It's something that, that, that we can bar it out of the way. Something that we bring on ourselves. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we have wisdom and knowledge right here before us. Amen. Amen. And, and, and in the book of Luke, in my Bible, this part here is a parable of Jesus. Right. It's written in red. And that's enough right there for us to take notice that if Jesus said we need to take notice not one of the gospel writers but these are the actual words of Jesus amen amen so in the book of Luke the 15th chapter beginning at verse 1 it reads now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear him but the Pharisees and the teachers of the law murdered. This man welcomed sinners and eats with them. Right. Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Right. Does he not lead the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulder and goes home. Then he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice, for I have found my lost sheep. Right. I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents over 99 righteous persons who right. do not need to repent. I suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Does she not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Jesus continued. There was a man who had two sons. 
the younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in the whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his field to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired hand have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired hands. So he got up and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and against you, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servant, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and it's fine. So they begin to celebrate the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, yeah. bless these men that are here. Bless those men that are listening. Yeah. And bless them that they may find strength as fathers. Yeah. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always yeah. with a spirit of profound respect. Yeah. We give thanks, Creator God, for all the fathers in our life. Right. Fatherhood does not come with a man. Right. And reality teaches us that some fathers excel while some fathers fail. We ask for your blessing for them all yeah. and yeah. forgiveness. Yeah. where it is needed. Yeah. This Father Day, right. we remember that many sacrifices fathers make for their children and families. Yeah. In the ways both big and small, mm -hmm. they lift children to achieve dreams thought beyond reach. Yeah. So too, we remember all those who have helped fill the void when fathers pass early. Mm -hmm. Our fathers are absent. Yeah. Grandfathers, uncles, Brothers, yes. cousins, mm -hmm. teachers, yes. pastors and coaches, and the women of the family. Yes. For those who are fathers, we ask for wisdom and humility in the face of the task of parenting. Yes. Give them strength to do well by their children and by you. In your holy name we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 And amen. God bless each and every one of you on this Father's Day. And guess what? We got a double hit today. Before we go into Father's Day, let's talk a little bit about Juneteenth. Do everybody know what Juneteenth is? Juneteenth is short for June 19th. It marks the day when federal troops arrived in Galveston, Texas. In 1865, they arrived there to take control of the state and to ensure that all enslaved people be free. Right. 
It could have been some of my people. By blood, but I know they were my people. Could have been some of your people. By blood, but I know they were some of your people. The truth arrival came, listen to this, a full two and a half years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Two and a half years after Juneteenth honors the end of slavery in the United States. And it is considered the longest running African-American holiday in on June the 17th, 2021, last year, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden officially signed the law and it became a federal holiday. Come on and get a law some praise. Right. The Confederate General Robert Lee had surrendered at the courthouse two months earlier in Virginia, but slavery had remained unaffected in Texas until this General Gordon Granger stood on Texas soil and read the order, the general orders number three, which said the people of Texas are informed that in, according, in accordance with the proclamation from the executive, executive of the United States, all slaves are free. All Slaves are free. Right. Two and a half years later, after the Emancipation Proclamation that was issued by President Abraham Lincoln on January the 4th, 1st, 1863, two years after it had been issued, we found out that we were free in Texas. But that didn't mean nothing. It didn't insulin free any enslaved people. We are still enslaved today by different laws, All right. by different politicians, by different social injustices. But God is still working on it. All right. God is still working on it. God ended it then. And he's going to end it now. Right. But we will celebrate Juneteenth this year yes. as an official holiday for us. It's on our calendar in our book today. Uh -huh. Juneteenth. So let's celebrate Juneteenth today also as we celebrate Father's Day. Uh -huh. Give the Lord some praises for what he has done. Yes. It is a Jubilee Sunday for us. Amen. 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 Today, I want to talk a little bit about the scriptures. I just want to talk on Father's Day. All right. Amen. First of all, we have Mother's Day Amen. and we have Father's Day. Right. Mother's Day, a lot more money to be spent than on Father's Day. I'm <laughs> right. But when, when I look at it in the Bible, you know, it separated Mother's Day and Father's Day. That should be a place where they're separated together. I think mothers and fathers should be separated on the same day. In the book of Exodus 20 and 12, it said, honor thy father and thy mother. All right. So they together. But we're going to go ahead on, and I know on Mother's Day a lot more be spent, but we're not here to talk about that. We're not here to talk about any deadbeat dads, and I know there are some of them. Amen. Amen. I, I, I know that there's some of them, but I want to talk about today something that we all have in common. Right. Every last one of us in here, we all have in common, and that's our own Heavenly Father. All right. I, want, all right. I want to remind everybody here today yeah. that God loves us all. Yeah. I want to remind everybody right. today that you can rely on him. Yeah. I want to remind everybody today that God is a good God. Yes, I want to remind all the fathers here today that God will help you take care of your children. Yes. I want to remind everybody today that our God has a heart of compassion. Yes. I want to remind you today that God has a, a heart of love for every one yes. of us. Yes. He rejoices. Mm -hmm. When the lost is found. Yeah. 
Your heavenly father is looking for you to turn to him. God loves all of us more than we can imagine. All right. See, our little mind is infinite. It's finite. And God's mind is infinite. He goes on and on. We can go to a certain place and think and stop. All right. Can't go no further. As a matter of fact, I done got to a place where I'm forgetting more than I remember now. Right. Amen. All right. God, he is all powerful. Yes. He is all knowing. Yes. He is, like I said, an everywhere at the same time, God. Yes. And he is looking for each and every one of us to come home. Yes. Right. And when we come home, we will live under the blessings of being a child of God. Yes. There are blessings yes. for being a child of God. Yes. You can find love. Well, yes. You can find acceptance. Yes. And you can find answers in God. Um, yes. Yes. The parable that I have just read, some of you may want to know what a parable is. I'm glad you asked. All right. It's a heavenly story with earthly meaning. A heavenly story with earthly meaning. In other words, Jesus was telling it, amen. It's a heavenly story, but it has meaning earthly for you. And that, right. Let me break it down a little bit. We know what heaven going to be like. We do. We know that there is no more sickness. All right. No more pain. All right. so it's a no more tears, no more yeah. sorrow in oh, heaven. Right. Amen. We know heaven is going to be all right. Yes. But don't you know that God knows that heaven is all right and that we can have some of our heavenly blessings while we're walking around here on this earth yeah. where we right. need them? How many of you need to rejoice right now? How many of you need to know that, that, that this pain, this suffering that we're going through is only temporary? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so in this parable here, the father is seen as having a heart of love and compassion. Yeah. He don't favor nobody. Well, you know, our God is a God that that, that, that don't have no favorites. Right. All of us are the same under God outside. Yeah. So, so this is a beautiful picture that we need to take with us yeah. of the heart of our Heavenly Father. That's right. The Son would have never known his Father's love and compassion if he had not chosen to return to his Father. Right. Amen. See, a lot of us, some of us hadn't been uh, raised up in homes where our father were, were prominent figures. Right. Amen. I'm one. I'm one. I, amen. My grandmother did a lot of stuff and said that my father done. I, I, I couldn't tell you what my daddy looked like until I got about 15 or 16. Right. He would come back and forth from the city when I was smaller, but yeah. you know, we kids, we couldn't even really recall what they looked like. All right. He came home one year when I was like 16, 17, and I was playing uh, basketball and aiming, and he came to the game. And and, 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 and I, I, I really, I really liked it that he came. Right. Amen. Right. But I had a lot of stuff in my heart mm -hmm. against my father. Right. And, and, and but as I grew in the Lord, yeah. I found forgiveness All for right. my dad. And I can stand here this morning and tell you I love my dad. He's no longer here, mm -hmm. but I love him. I got to actually love my father before he passed. All Amen. Right. All right. So, so we don't need to allow anything to hold us back from showing love and forgiveness. Right. Amen. I know it's hard. I, I know you he ain't, you say he ain't did nothing for you, but he have. He brought you in this world. Amen. Don't think for a moment that your heavenly father has turned his back on you. He's waiting. He's waiting on you to return. We shouldn't allow anything, no sin, no lack of judgment on, on our part to keep us from returning to our Heavenly Father. Amen. His arms are wide open. He's yeah. standing there. And his heart is filled with compassion. Yeah. 
His heart is filled with the compassion. And, and Jesus has left us with examples in this book that we call the Bible. All right. But we must pick it up and read it. And we, every time we read it, we need to ask the Lord to show us what he's trying to tell us. Right. Amen. But I'm standing here this morning. I can tell you, God is looking for all of us to come home. Right. No matter what your past. Well. Uh, it don't matter what you've done. It don't matter how much beer and liquor and weed you don't smoke. Hey Amen. He's still waiting. Right. He's waiting with open arms. Yeah. But I can stand here and tell you this morning, when you live outside the blessings of God, it can be a lonely life. Yes, right. When you live outside of the blessings of God, it can be a harsh reality. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. Things go against you all the time. But see, the devil has fooled us. He try to bamboozle us all the time. Amen. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that when we come on the Lord's side, there will be no more trouble. There will be no more pain. Come on now. Amen. But when we go through trouble and go through pain, God is right there with us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. No, not everybody here in this parable, it said the son came to his senses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not everybody come to their senses. All right. All right. Amen. And I'm going to tell you what my grandma used to call them that don't come to their senses. She's an old fool. All right. Come on now. That's what she used to call The old fool. I know people that were doing things when I was, we were doing them together. Right. Was out there young doing those things. Some of them still doing that thing. It's been 50 years ago. And they're still doing it. Amen. Not everyone come to their senses. Have you come to your senses this morning? Right. Come on now. Are you come still on, living outside of the blessings of God? Come on now. Amen. You have to start with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself and know and say, Lord, I got a problem. I need your help. Amen. I, I can't do it by myself, Lord. Amen. See, if you don't come to your senses, you understand like this young man. It says here that that that, that he went out and hide himself out to, to uh, 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 a landowner or whatever, but they had pigs. Right. And and he was out there slopping the pigs. Amen. Anybody ever been around a pig pen? Oh, yeah. yeah. Amen. And then you got to look at his religious black background. One of the pigs and one of the things that they wasn't even supposed to be around, wasn't supposed to touch. But he's standing there now after he done actually just said, Father, it's, I don't care if you dead or whatever. I want my part of your estate right now. Okay. And after he had squandered it all, he had to pardon doing everything and look what happened to him. He was living outside of the blessings of God. Yeah, that's right. and, 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 and then when this happened, he looking at the pig pen, the pig food, asking, Lord, have mercy, that looks so good. I ought to eat me some of that. Pigs were eating better than him. And he came to his senses right then and he knew that he had said and done his father wrong. All right. And he made up in his mind what he was going to He was going to go back and tell his father. See, a lot of us need to make up in our mind. All right. A lot of us need to come to our senses and don't remain in the pig pen of life well. and, and die a lonely death. Yeah. See, a lot of us need to get rid of that pride yeah. and admit yeah. that we've been wrong. Amen. Yeah. Right. I, 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 don't, don't think you can, don't have to never go back. God is always welcoming you back. Even if you feel like you rejected, even somebody may tell you where well, you got what you deserve. Come on, man. But that is not the heart of the Father in this parable. Well. That is not the heart of the same thing that we all have in common, our Heavenly Father. Yeah. I'm not going to stand up here and try to beat all the deadbeat dads up today. I know there are some. Yeah. Amen. But there are some dads that do, do what they're supposed to do. Amen. But I want to just remind all of us yeah. 
that we all have a heavenly father in common and he will welcome each and every one of us yes. and we all need the heavenly father's love yes. and compassion yes. we have a lot to learn regarding the, 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 the heart of our heavenly father we don't know the half of it of what God is waiting on us to do for us we all need to develop a closer relationship with our Father, yeah, right. our Heavenly Father. Yeah. I mean a closer, intimate relationship. Amen. 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 God loves you. Amen. But because of your circumstances or your situation, the lesson you need to learn and experience, it may be different from mine. All right. You may have to go through something tougher than I went through. But the question is, will you learn when you go through it? All right. This son was asking his father to allow him to work as a hired hand. All right. But look what the father did. He wasted no time in restoring his son to a position of authority. All right. And he had the whole house to celebrate the return of his son. Right. When we come Back to Jesus. Amen. It's celebrating time. Amen. 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 When we say, Lord, here I am, yes. when we come to him, well, all that past history is forgotten about. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And this is what the heavenly father do when we sinners repent. We all sinners now. That's right. Now when I say a sinner, I don't I ain't trying to put you down or put nobody. I'm a sinner. Yes. The Bible said we all have sinned Amen. and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. See, but when we repent, God opens his arm and his doors to us. Yes. He's looking for us to return. Amen. And when we return, yes. he will waste no time welcoming us back as a son or as a daughter. All right. I get rid of the cold this morning. Maybe you're listening out there in Facebook. All right. Maybe you're listening here. Yeah. And you have questions whether God loves you. Come on, man. As I said before, God loves you more than you can imagine. Amen. Amen. Some fathers may be asking, well, how do I get my kids to respond to me? Come on, man. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. All right, man. God has put giving us examples all through the Bible. The Father in this parable shows us how we ought to love our children. And I want to throw in our wives too. We got to love them unconditionally. And always equally. And we got to love them with respect. Somebody here may have a wayward child. Somebody here may have a child that's strung out on drugs, alcohol. Somebody there may have a child that's real disrespectful. All right. Pray for them. Yeah. Amen. It'd be good. And I pray for them. Never Amen. give up on them. Yeah. And then look for them. Yeah. Do like the father did. The, 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 the parable said the father would go every day and stand. Come on now. And he would look out on the horizon yeah. looking for that son to return. All right. See, we need to go looking for our yeah. children to return. Yeah. We go to look for them, and when they return, we don't talk about them and put them down and tell them they got what they deserve. We yes. need to welcome them back. Yes. Yes. Welcome them back. Then we need to seek the man the broken relationship that we have. Yes. All right. The first step comes from you. The father in this parable is a picture of our heavenly father. All right. And he is a model for every one of us to follow. Yeah. Be the best father. Well, you can be ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do not hold anything against your children or right. against anybody else. All right. Forgive. Yeah. yeah. As you like to be forgiven. Amen. Amen. Love. Yeah. As you would like to be loved. Yeah. Well. Amen. Yeah. Some of us may have grown up in a home where the father was not the best role model. All right. 
All right. He was not the best father. Yeah. I thank God for my stepfather. Mm -hmm. My stepfather stepped up and never missed a beat. All right. Hey Amen. I never done without anything. I had a roof over my head, food deep, clothes on my back. All right. Amen. And, and, and I thank God for my stepfather. All right. Some of us had fathers and stepfathers that just didn't measure up. Right. But I got news for you this morning. Come on. You don't have to be like him. Amen. Amen. You don't have to be like him. Amen. Amen. You just have to be like your heavenly father, but I do Amen. need for you to forgive them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In order to get into the doors of heaven, yeah. you have to forgive them. Yes, right. All you got to do is be like your heavenly father. Right. All right. I know at times I have made mistakes, Amen. and I'm going to make some more. Yes, right. sir. I know that you have made some mistakes. Amen. Well, but I know that I have learned to look mm -hmm. to Jesus, All right. my heavenly father. Yeah. I, I learned to look to him. I learned to try to love like him. Yeah. I learned to try to imitate him. Well, I learned it because I know he is the same yesterday, right. today, and he'll be the same yeah. tomorrow. Come on, Father. He shows right. more partiality. He, yeah. he loves me and he, he, he tells me he loves yeah. me. He yeah. shows me he loves me. Yeah. He wakes me up every morning. Yeah. He watches yeah. over me yeah. all yeah. night long. Yeah. He feeds me every day. Yeah. He gives me shelter when I'm... Yeah. Lord yeah. have mercy. All right. My Heavenly Father loves me yeah. with an everlasting love. Yeah. Your Heavenly Father loves you with an everlasting yeah. love. Yeah. On this Father's Day, Yes, Let us all imitate the heavenly Father. Yes, he is standing yes, he is. with his arms wide open. Right. He's looking for you. He's looking for you. He's yes. looking for you. Yes. He's looking for you. He's looking yes. for you to come home. Yes. He's looking for you to come home and live under the blessings all right. of being a child of God. Yeah. That means uh, you the head and not the tail. Yeah, come on that means you above and not beneath. Yeah. That means that, mean that you can have it because you will need it when you ask for it in your prayer. Yeah. There are numerous blessings that you can have. My prayer this morning is that if you haven't experienced it, that you will begin to experience the love and the compassion yeah. of the heavenly father. All right. And you learn uh -huh. to always yeah. enjoy the blessings of God, yeah. the father in your life. Yeah. God is standing. He got his arm wide open. Amen. He's waiting for you to come home. Yes. Yeah. As I close on this morning, verse 25 on tells us that there was another son. An older brother. All right. And an older brother who was always there for his dad and never asked for anything. Did what his daddy said. Yeah. And when he heard the party going on, he heard what had happened and that the brother has come, come back home. He was mad. Right. He was mad at his dad. Mm -hmm. But our Heavenly Father didn't show no partiality between the two of them. Yeah. He loved them both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he explained to his oldest son, you always with me. Yeah. And he said, everything I got now is yours. Everything. All right. But we had to celebrate and be glad mm -hmm. because this brother of yours was dead. Right. You know, when I say dead, I ain't talking about dead six feet under. See, a lot of us dead spiritually. Right. Right. Come on, Pat. See, a lot of us in the pardon don't know God in the pardon of our sin. Right. A lot of us right now, if, if 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 he knocked on our door and we died, we'll bust hell wide open. All right. Come on, man. Because we're spiritually dead. But this son that was spiritually dead is alive again. Right. He was lost. And now he's found. 
Is there anybody here this morning that is lost? Is there anybody here this morning that needs to be found? Is there anybody here this morning yeah. that's spiritually dead? Is there anybody here this morning that got any kind of problem? Is there anybody here this morning that needs to bring it to God and leave it right there this morning? Yeah. Yeah. He's standing. Yes, sir. He's waiting on us. Yeah. We all have this in common. I don't care who you are, where you are. If you call yourself a Christian and you know Jesus, you have a heavenly father. Yeah. All right. Thank you. May God continue to bless each and every one of you. Yeah. I thank God that we're getting back to coming together as a congregation Amen. because there is power, power. and yeah. strength yeah. and gathering together. Yeah. Amen. 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 I, I don't know what you've been going through, but I know what I've been going through. And I know it's been hard. But I know that my Heavenly Father is working it out. Yeah. And if He do it for me, He'll do it for you. Amen. I love you. Amen. And there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. If there's anybody here that don't know Jesus, today Amen. is a good day. Amen. Amen. All you got to do, Romans 10 and 9, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Let's go to it. I get it mixed up a lot of times. I don't call it. Romans 10 and 9. I want everybody, we're going to read it together. I don't care what type of Bible you got. I don't care what type of, if it's a Bible, phone Bible. Romans 10 chapter. And the ninth verse. It said that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Amen. And believe in your heart Amen. that God raised him from the dead, Amen. you will be saved. Amen. 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 Is there anybody here this morning that don't know me? All you got to do is do just what this word tells you to do. You will be saved. And then find yourself a Bible believing, Bible preaching church. And gather with the saints of God. Amen. And get ready. Because there's going to be a great going up yonder one day. He is coming back. Politicians and all that, they're not going to fix this place. We in the word, the worst ain't got here yet. It's going to get worse, church. But we going to have some, uh, we, 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 we going to be covered. Amen. We're going to go through some stuff, right. but we're going to be covered. Yeah. Amen. 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 Man, we've been going through right now. May God continue to bless each and every one of you. Amen. And if there's anything I can do, amen, my number is 662-346-3444. Six, six, three, three, right. three, three. Yeah. If you don't call me and let me know, I won't know. Amen. Amen. So if I need to know, you want me to know, call me and let me know. Don't wait on somebody else. That's right. You call me. Right. And I guarantee you, there's anything I can do about it, I will. But I do know our Heavenly Father will be right on the case right then. Amen. Amen. May God bless you and may God keep you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And thank God.